Well, from where it started to where it's going, people understandably have a lot of questions about the virus and the vaccines. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is back to answer more of your questions submitted through our website. Click, click on Detroit.com, uh, starting with a question about different doses. Dr. McGeorge. Yeah, Kim, so a viewer named Tom wants to know, does the COVID shot take into account the weight variance in their shots? My wife is 100 pounds, I'm 200, does she get half the dose? Tom, the answer is no. The vaccine doses are not size or weight based. Now here are some more of your questions. Valerie asks, are the vaccine brands mix and match? My husband's first vaccine was by Moderna. His second vaccine was by Pfizer. Is he vaccinated? Should he just go get the second Moderna or get the second Pfizer? The answer is that he is done. You don't need a third shot of either vaccine. I don't know how he received different vaccines between the first and second shot, but that's less than ideal. Nonetheless, the CDC guidance is that when two different vaccines are inadvertently administered, the person does not require additional doses. This situation highlights the reason everyone should be sure to keep their vaccine card from the first dose to be sure you receive two of the same vaccine. Angela asks, can you contract COVID more than once? The answer is generally no, at least for a while. The immunity you develop from being infected should protect you for at least three months. We don't have enough information yet to be able to say for sure how long immunity lasts beyond that. Also, I say generally no, because there are case reports of people being reinfected. While this appears to be uncommon, variants might become problematic. There's developing information that vaccines may not protect as well against the South African variant, B1351. And if the protection from vaccines is incomplete, it's possible the protection from having been infected by COVID Classic is also incomplete. Now, I also want to point out that although it might turn out that infection with a different variant might be possible after a vaccine or even a prior infection, it's likely that it would at least there would at least be some protection from more severe disease. I'm curious, Dr. McGeorge, does it mean that we might need a, a, strong, a booster shot for different variants of the virus maybe later down the road? Well, you know, Kim, that's something that vaccine manufacturers are already considering. Fortunately, the mRNA technology actually makes it much easier to update a vaccine if it's necessary. But right now, the current vaccines appear to be effective against the variants that are circulating at least widely in the U.S. Sure. All right. As always, Dr. McGeorge, we appreciate it.